Hey y'all, thank you for joining me for this month's episode of Soul Food Sundays. My name is Keita. If it's your first time joining me, welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. Y'all make sure to check out the, um, I feel right on my teeth. <laughs> check out the episode of, um, Ancestors Speak that I did. I did a live on Instagram bringing forth a message from um, the ancestors and it was dope um, cautioning us to uh, be mindful of where we're wasting time, what we're wasting our time on and so I am currently uploading that at this time that I am recording this so that you guys can check out the playback. So um, tap in, let me know what you think, leave your comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we're going to be getting into the message that wants to come forward for the collective for the month of June. Get y'all, I meant July, about to take us back. Uh, get y'all some soul food tomorrow um, as it relates to the day that I'm recording this. There's a new moon in Cancer. Um, and so that's very much a nurturing, mothering, um, emotional energy as Cancer is a water sign. Um, but Cancer being symbolic or symbolized by the crab is one that is very protective of its emotions and vulnerabilities. Can cancers, as emotional as they are, do not like to be um, vulnerable. And so um, they gotta really be comfortable with you to um, show that vulnerability and that emotion, even though that's really what they made of. Like that's a big part of their makeup, their persona, who they are. Um, and so sometimes you'll also find that cancers have, um, mothering issues, mommy wounds, um, have dealt with like absentee or deceased, uh, mothers. They seek, um, a mothering, nurturing capacity in their counterparts. So for some of you that may be coming up for you as we are in this, um, currently in the cancer new moon um shadow period um and at the time that you guys will be receiving this message um on sunday that will be um the shadow period but time is an illusion and so um and infinite and so at whatever time that you um access this message if you resonate with it the message is for you um we're also in the time of the serious gateway there's a lot of light codes and light energy um that we're receiving so make sure that you're taking care of your your physical body so that your light body is able to receive what is coming in from our uh cosmic family and from the ancestors and spirit guides uh at this time because the earth moon and no the earth sun and the sirius star are aligned at this time and so that's a lot of spiritual energy coming in for those of us or uh, definitely for those of us who are already attuned um to higher vibrations and for those who aren't they're receiving the energy but it's causing sickness within the body because they have not cleansed and cleared just off 411 um their systems to be able to receive the information that is coming in and so the body is not equipped to handle such high vibrational energy and there's so much that the the light the um, spiritual energy that's coming forward has to move through uh, in order to for the body to really receive it right um so for a lot of us the sicknesses that we encounter sore throats and uh, uh, headaches and digestive issues and sicknesses and um cold sinus issues all of that is essential symptoms for when we've received 
uh, an influx of um, light codes and, and energy. And that's just how it, it reveals itself in the physical. There's always a spiritual significance to what we experience in the physical. Be it itching, your eye twitching, <laughs> your throat hurt, whatever. Like ear ache is something going on in the etheric realm and with your light body. So um, I'm going to be pulling from the secret language of light. Uh, but first I'm going to pull some tarot and tap into what archetype we're needing to embody or that we are currently and or that we're currently embodying at this time so father god mother earth ancestors and spirit god clear i come to you at this moment as a vessel of your love and light thanking you for this opportunity to connect with your people and asking that you speak to me and through me to bring forth the best message for the highest good of the collective i pray that something pours from my heart and out of my mouth that reaches their heart and helps them along their journey. We thank you in advance for the message that's coming forth, Spirit. What soul food would you have me to deliver to your people? All right. It looks like we got three cards that fell out. They all fell out face down. So let's see what it is. Yo, oh, what's the the devil? Can I need? In them the Ten of Cups. Those are two conflicting energies. And the Six of Pentacles. With the devil next to the Ten of Cups, this is telling me that somebody is obsessed with the idea of the concept of emotional fulfillment with someone in particular or a community there's something where this individual is either yeah there's there's an obsession there's no other way that i'm really picking up on this but it's it's an obsession that is actually leading them to court somebody's being um moved to take some action towards the ten of cups their ultimate emotional fulfillment with the devil card here you got this individual here with that ain't the star david i don't know what that is on bro chest <laughs> um but he's controlling this other individual like he's a puppet right and so somebody's feeling their passion their emotion is controlling them like they are obsessed um because the, the obsession is a devil uh devilish energy um with the ten of cups the hope idea dream of a family dynamic or being in community and or being in community having the love and support and possibly even starting a family um but you got these two individuals in embrace. Uh, and I think the fact that they are both feminine energy speaks to this could be a same sex couple, but it, it ultimately speaks to two people who are aligned uh, from their feminine, their feminine energy is aligned. So say if this is a masculine and a feminine, divine masculine, divine feminine, this is the divine masculine having um tapped into his feminine energy in a way that he now aligns with the divine feminine and her feminine energy um therefore creating that balance and that ultimate emotional fulfillment but this is like a happily ever after this is that rainbow um energy and, and having a um a cycle of just complete emotional um happiness and joy and fulfillment and not needing to seek anything outside of the connection to fulfill you because this is it having found your person having found your people your community your tribe um and you can see these two children here is actually a, a little boy and a little girl and what that's telling me is somebody is not only has done their um work to align with divine feminine energy 
but also inner child healing has taken place because they plan without a care in the world and it says there's some aspect of this situation that's innocent love is love it's innocent regardless of who don't like it who's against it it's innocent and it's ordained by the divine it's something that um has been set in motion by the divine possibly a past life uh connection but whatever it is this person wants to give to it reciprocally with the six of pentacles they want to pitch in they want to help out in some way they want to show their love devotion and dedication to this situation with equal give and take you got somebody that's receiving which is feminine energy and you got somebody that's giving that's masculine energy and you see these coins fluctuating and this infinity symbol here because in this connection this is where this person can see themselves getting return on them their investment with somebody who they know will give back to them and somebody who they know they will continue to want to give to so there's this continuous give and take in the situation just saw 11 11 which is very symbolic of this being a twin flame journey um at the top of the deck you have the knight of cups i knew i was talking about a love connection child romance um someone who it's like a knight in shining armor but this individual he's actually like a cool kid you know what i'm saying he's he's more of that young man teenage energy that comes forward romantically with flowers and he's taking his hat off in reverence of uh and respect toward um who he's approaching and he's laid out a spread he's put out some work to show his love and affection for this person and he's got his white horse standing over in the back and even the horse in a good mood <laughs> and he's sitting there his eyes are intense he's giving the eye contact he's sincere about how he feels or at least for the moment because one thing for certain and two things for sure with the knight of cups energy sometimes it could be romantic it could be charismatic it could be um giving and attentive and all of the things but it's also can be fleeting he could hop off that chair that stool and hop on that horse at any moment that's why he got wings on his um converse as you can see because knight of cups love or energy can be flighty um but you got that at the top of the deck and at the bottom the six of wands now he ain't going nowhere <laughs> him right here he's obsessed he's in love and he he is like not even on some romantic shit because he just on some player shit and he trying to finesse and that's what he feels like he should do he really wants to show this person just how much he loves and cares and is a paying attention to the details because he's obsessed with the idea of this ten of cups and giving back to this situation so he's willing to invest emotionally towards it and actually with this um devil energy it's not a toxic obsession at all it's one more of this is just all he can think about That is so dope. Um, at the bottom of the deck, you have the six of wands because he sees victory with this individual. And not on no sneaky shit, not on some underhanded, under, you know what I'm saying, under the radar, going to the hole in the wall, hoping that don't nobody see them. Like, they outside. Because this is a stage with a crowd. This is who this person sees success with. And you got literally three sixes in this reader so i don't know what took place for somebody around the time of the 6 6 portal which was june 6 uh but the devil card is represented by the number 15 which breaks down to a six you got the six of pentacles and now you have the six of wands this is victory public success so i love this for whoever resonates with this message i am going to clarify the this message with the archetype cards because i want to see what archetypes are showing up in this scenario in this situation so spirit please clarify this message by showing us the archetype or energy that is showing up here in this reading 
I'm here just to be close to you, girl. For the moment, baby. Who is that? That's saying that. Is it like Lionel Richie or somebody? Hold on. The card and fell all in my. Okay. The visionary. Okay, before I even go into this, let me look up for some. Before I move on. Oh, I got so much going on. Just to be close to you. There it is. If that's the name of the song. The Commodores. I was close. Lotta Richard was in the Commodores. Just to be close to you, girl. Just for a moment. Well, just for an hour. Just to be close to you. Uh, you know I've been through so many changes in my life, girl. Oh, I've been up real high where I thought I didn't need anybody. Oh, and then again, I've been down real low where there was no one in my life who needed me. Oh, and I found that material things I thought had so much value. Yo, this aligns with the Divine Masculine reading where um, this last one that I did, the Divine Masculine's values were shifting. What this person valued he no longer made a priority as a result of his awakening, of uh, awakening to his higher self. That I was, oh, I, I found that material things, I thought I had so much value, I thought had so much value. All girl didn't really have any value at all. That I was a lonely man, a man with no direction, with no purpose, with no one to love and no one to love me for me. Oh, girl, then you. Then you came into my life. You made my jagged edges smooth. You made my, you made my direction so clear. And you, all woman, you became my purpose, my reason for living, girl. I told y'all, this devil energy... And this Ten of Cups energy, this person is like all they can think about because they see success in this situation and they want to give to it. They want to invest in it. They find value in it and they appreciate it. And that's coming through not only in the cards, but in this song. You see, you're my heart, your soul. You're my stone inspiration, baby. Oh, that's why I'm standing here singing and opening my arms to you. I want to say, child, why don't you take my hand and we'll live in love forever. Ten of cups. Happily ever after. Yeah, take my hand. We'll be alone. You and me. Take my hand, girl. We'll live our lives together. And then the rest of it is just to be close to you. I've been out there searching so very long, baby. Searching to find somebody just like you. And for some folks, it takes a lifetime, sugar, to find in this world a dream come true. Why don't you take my hand to make love, to be loved by you, to have your warm body close to mine, to whisper words that make you feel like a woman. Oh, my God. And so that reminds me of a random song I was singing the other day, um, Natural Woman by Aretha Franklin. You make me feel, you make me feel like a natural woman, woman. Okay, so this is somebody who wants his partner to feel like a natural woman and wants to invest in that and like loves this person for who they are. No makeup, just being their authentic self, not having to put on any pretenses. Um, it says to whisper words that make you feel like a woman girl I know our love will stand the test of time what it also says is this person has tapped into what it means to show up as a divine masculine so that the divine feminine can be her authentic natural self and be in comfortable and in um, at peace and operating in her divine feminine energy oh that's what I'm talking about when I tell y'all when it comes to um dating i'm really not impressed well i don't date but i'm not impressed with a lot of the stuff that people do to impress 
when dating. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm more um impressed, enthused, looking for, looking to see, checking for uh integrity, a desire to grow, what action is being taken to grow, um, proof of growth. <laughs> Because, I mean, we all learning and growing and, you know what I'm saying, taking this shit day by day, moment by moment, right? But I need to see you trying. And I'm looking for how um, a man loves himself and how in loving himself, it don't look just superficial and that I could tell on the surface that he loves himself by how he keep his hygiene and how he dress and all that. But the decisions he made, what kind of bullshit do you entertain? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, can, can you take me to the barbecue and not be ashamed of the fact that some people gonna look at me as a witch or, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna be their cup of tea. Can you stand up for me? Even if you don't fully know you know what i'm saying what i practice or what i'm into or whatever like can you still be like keep your mouth out there <laughs> whatever she fucking practice i fuck with it you know what i'm saying i support it i love her type shit like i can't have nobody that's gonna be in these streets and i can't be in my divine feminine energy and be my natural self and i gotta put on pretenses in order to make you and other people feel comfortable and um can't depend on that masculine's protection and provision and cre that like creating the safe space for me that I know I would create for that person so that type of shit is important and that's the type of love that stands the test of time that's alignment for me because I know who I am what I bring to the table I am familiar to some degree with my calling. And so um, it's just important that the criteria reflect where you are on the journey and where you want to go. And in these lyrics, you got somebody that's like willing to step up as that divine masculine so that the divine feminine is comfortable and feels protected and provided for and her feminine energy and he's grateful for what she has brought to his journey up to this point so now he want to bring more to her journey going forward just to be close to you girl for the moment baby da -da 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 -da. my arms are still burning girl you got me yearning for your love it's giving yearning to me. That's that devil energy. That that um that um obsessive energy. Okay then. So what fell out with the archetypes is um visionary. Capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others, willingness to proclaim a vision without regard for personal gain. This person, this Knight of Cups, who is very much, um, he's intuitive to a degree, and he's daydreamy, and he fantasizes, and he's romantic, and so he's, he's envisioned what success in this connection would look like, or, or he maybe even has received divine downloads about how this relationship should unfold or what it can be. He definitely sees the potential and the vision for it. And this is somebody who wants to invest in that vision as a mediator. Wants to um, stand in the gap, as they say. It says the mediator has a gift for negotiating fairness and strategy in personal and professional life. Respect for both sides of an argument. In this situation, you got somebody who wants to mediate by providing equal give and take in this situation. Reciprocity. Somebody who sees what the feminine brings to the table and notices how, okay, yeah, we're different, but actually we complement one, one another. So what she brings to the table I don't, that's not necessarily my strong suit, but what I bring to the table can assist her along her journey. What she brings to the table can assist me along mine. And therefore, we're the yin and yang. We go together. We balance one another out. Mediation. 
then you got and this one fell face down on top of ten of cups <laughs> The prince, she about to get real romantic, yo. You see, he, he got his um his flowers behind his back. There's some element of this that's going to be a surprise to somebody. Because you got this prince energy, which is very significant and um aligned with this knight of cups energy. Romantic charm and potential for power. Somebody wants to come forth and, like, woo somebody. You know what I'm saying? They want to impress. They want to pursue um, someone whom they see a long-term connection with and success. And they feel worthy of their investment. And that they trust will invest in them as well with the Six of Pentacles. And in this situation, this is possibly even somebody knowing that somebody could use their help or their input with this mediator energy. And they're willing to give that assistance in some way. At the top of the deck, you have lover. Oh, baby, if we wasn't for sure this was about a love connection, we for damn sure now. Great passion and devotion, unbridled appreciation for someone or something. I cannot make this shit up. Listen, if you've been pouring into something and feeling like you have casted your pearls before swine, you have um, sown seed on dry land, and that you're not going to receive the harvest of the seed that you planted, your kindness, your compassion, you feeling like it was a waste? Nah, B. <laughs> nah, B. You showed up as a lover and this person is, is, is ready to, now that they appreciate and value this connection, they want to give back to it. So you got this lover energy at the top of the deck and at the bottom, teacher. You've taught them some things. They really learn some things about themselves, about other people, and ultimately about love. About love, and I'm hearing about Christ. This is somebody who had a totally different perspective of what Christ means, or what Christ in is, or what Christ's energy is, what Christ's consciousness is. But the teacher... Um, archetype has the ability to communicate knowledge experience skill or wisdom again we talked about where these uh counterparts bring two different things to the table so yeah they got they, their things they have in common but they also have differences and that's healthy but one thing that um they bring is one person is able has the capacity to teach one about certain things and then the other has the capacity to teach the other about certain things and as a result of having gone through an ego death to to get to the point of being in your divine masculine and divine feminine energy each individual is humble enough to be able to learn from one another oh i love this this is some sexy ass shit the ability to communicate knowledge, experience, skill, or wisdom. And then these are individuals, especially with this visionary energy, who are going to go forth to teach others. That's what it's all about. Our journeys are literally our colleges. You know what I'm saying? And we, we go through our trials and our tribulations, and that should be like our dissertation or our capstones or our, um, it's another word for our thesis. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes it look different. Sometimes it's the actual institution that's college. Sometimes it's marriage and children. Sometimes it's single parenthood. For some, it's jail. Uh, for some of us, it's the army or the navy or the, the armed services in some way. Our life experiences um, leading up to elevation, ascension, growth. It's like college. You know what I'm saying? Preparing us to become the expert, the teacher, the person who has enough experience and mastery under their belt that they can see the vision and teach it to other people and bring it to fruition. I love this message that's coming forward. I'm going to close this out with the, um, 
I slick wasn't expecting this to be a love message, but I don't know why, because all the rest of them have been shit. I thought I was going to be bring. I really, really, really thought I was going to be bringing forth a message that was going to be helping the collective along their spiritual journey, absent of romance and a connection. But I guess, especially as we're leading up to the 8-8 portal, these divine unions are coming. They're grounding. No longer activity just taking place in the 5D. They're actually grounding, and partly because... A lot of these masculines cannot take this shit no more. It's like some got to shake. Come here, woman. <laughs> so I love that for y'all. Name your babies after me. I don't mind. And invite me to the wedding. I love a good excuse to put on a sexy dress, okay? And I ain't had enough of those lately. So, yeah, definitely invite me to the weddings. I might even be able to officiate. Um, Spirit, please clarify this message for the... Collective and light bands. Did we not start off talking about how the light is affecting us? So we got two individuals here who are light bands. And now there's a deeper awareness of that amongst these lovers who are becoming teachers. Um, and it's starting with this prince energy, this romance to get shit started and lay a strong foundation to build this ten of cups something substantial and that's going to have longevity uh and it's represented by the number 35 and that's an eight i would not be surprised how things unfold by or around the time of the 888 portal i want y'all to not sleep on that lion's gate energy because this is the last in a long time that we will have an 888 portal okay um we have an August 8th every year, but this year is a universal year. 2024 is a universal year 8, so it's amplified, right? Um, at the top of the deck, you have healing, represented by the number 5, because that's the change that has taken place in this dynamic. Someone has healed and now recognizes themselves as a light being, and they are grateful for someone who has helped catalyze that within them or mirror that to them that they are a light being. And now you got two light beings that are coming together to live out their uh, divine mission and uh, be successful with the six of wands at the bottom of the deck. And then you got focus at the bottom of the deck represented by the number 37, which breaks down to a 10. So this five healing energy has actually multiplied. It has doubled. Again, the lovers, you getting double for your trouble in this situation and you are about to see what the product of two becoming one, how that multiplies resources, success, love, and just high vibrational energy, light in your life. And therefore, you're able to focus, focus on the goal, focus on bringing the vision to, pro to fruition, better able to, to focus because you have support, because you're clear, you're no longer living in confusion and um, amongst low vibrational energies and entities that kept you confused and in illusion. That song talked about going off together, fuck everybody else. <laughs> That can be very healthy when you're starting over. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to live a life where it's just you and your partner and fuck everybody else because you're meant to live in community and to serve the community in some way, right? But when you're starting over, I think that's a very healthy space, especially when you've been around low-vibe energies and entities and in low-vibe environments. For some of y'all, this may include a move to a totally new place um, out of your state or your country. Uh, or your hometown or wherever you reside it may include a move to bring forth this teacher vision this teacher energy that is uh, coming forth in the long term but i'm gonna read the message of light beings and i know that i know that i know my battery is low so i'm gonna leave y'all with that and the page that i turned to which is right before uh 35 light beings is number 34 soul mating embrace your soul to reveal a partner i ain't got no reason to lie to y'all about this love shit man it is what it is um light beings enlightened soul information this image 
depicts a light band. The term light band is used to describe a range of ethereal forms, including gods and angels. They observe your life from a higher perspective so they can see the most auspicious path for you to create your dreams and desires. Sometimes your light bands may seem to take you down a path fraught with difficulty. However, everything happens for a reason. Just as we know a baby will eventually walk, you will also find your footing and attain your dreams. Six of Wands. This is what attaining your dreams look like. And underneath the Six of Wands, you got the Seven of Cups. What I say about seeing through that illusion. Seeing through the confusion to make that choice. Baby, I ain't got no reason to lie to y'all. I operate in truth and integrity. Listen to me when I tell you. If you resonate with this message, you have a lot to be grateful for. And God is going to continue to show you what you should be grateful for. And for many of you, that's going to be in the form of a counterpart. A divine counterpart. Um... Sometimes your light bands may seem to take you down a path fraught with difficulty. However, everything happens for a reason. Just we know, just as we know, a baby will eventually walk. You will also find your footing and attain your dreams. Your light bands are not here to save you, for that would interfere with your ability to create unique paths and conclusions. They are the keepers of the faith that hold and stream your past, present, and future dreams and desires to your heart. Only you can decide what to do with that information. You can't get it wrong for your light bands will just show you another way. They are always with you and it comes with a meditation that I'm not going to read. But there are some inspired reflections and actions that come along with this message. And it says, acknowledge how your soul sees you. Modify your beliefs about yourself in accordance with the way that your soul sees you. Clear your mind of yesterday's dirt to enable a clear connection to your light bands. Meditation is as necessary as a daily shower. Five minutes a day will quiet your mind, calm your body, and allow an unshakable peace to move through you. Ask for a sign or a feeling that your light bands are around you. And then there's also like a journal prompt. So it says to draw or write about three ways you believe you've connected with your light bands. It may be a feeling, a sense, a knowing, or a physical sign. For example, feathers and butterflies are a reminder to feel and be light. Light bands have been bringing these connections together. And these are also two people involved in this situation who have seen one another as... Um, light bands or, or or maybe even like during meditation or dreams seeing each other's um light body which is very possible i remember a time i was sitting in the sauna and i saw this fine ass dude <laughs> fine um and i had just went through a breakup but i saw this fine ass dude's light body and without getting too graphic i was activating his light body um and i had just went through a breakup and that particular breakup i was like what kind of sick ass joke is this because my ex whom i do not want back ain't built like this <laughs> you know what i'm saying so um the divine made it clear to me what was going on but at first that was my first time having an encounter like that so i was like what the fuck kind of sick ass joke is this but sometimes we can see one another's light bodies um and so that may be something that helps you to better resonate and identify with this message if you've had that type of an experience but know that we are light beings and that some of us are more receptive to it than others and some of us live a lifestyle where we're able to receive uh, and emit the light better than others. I hope this message found y'all well. It's got me smiling from ear to ear. Do you hear me? Because this is some dope-ass energy. Don't forget my invitation. Feel free to email me should you need my Addy. <laughs> or I'll take a, a electronic invite, but whatever the case, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the video. If you have not already subscribed to the channel, um, if you'd like to donate, Feel free to check out that information in the description box. My PayPal and um, Cash App information is below. And until next time, y'all, peace.